Hey guys, it's Malia and Chava. Wow, you haven't done that one in a while. And today we are going to be telling you trafe confessions, times people have made things trafe. And we got all of these from you guys. Hope you enjoy. So this is our first one, let's see. A few days ago, I washed my meat dishes in my dairy sink over the dairy dishes in the sink. I feel like I want to rub on the call, like telling us, like, is this okay? It it's a classic that like is something right. It happened. It, it happened. And then you're like, is it yet to let it, Bo? And if you know me, my hands are freezing all the time, so of course any water is always yet to let it, Bo. <laughs> um, okay. What you too? What? No, I just I I'm always see the thing with me and washing dishes is that I always wash it like I'm a big dishwasher but probably my family would (laughs) but probably my family would wish that I wasn't though because I always wash with cold water because I really hate hot water and I hate the feeling of hot water so I always wash with cold water and I still think the dishes get clean but like to hear my mother talk there if if it's hot not hot then it's not clean your turn the time I baked dairy cake a dairy cake mix in the meat oven I've done that should I do a story? I don't have a meat oven. Yes, no, like go not tell a oven. Like if you're someone who, like meaning if you change your oven, like I, I think that's what it is. Like after Shabbos one time, like I was like younger and I wanted to like, I basically, I wanted to like bake a cake. I was just in a cake baking mood and it was at, it was like Mose Shabbos. And I like totally, I thought my dad had only used the barbecue. I didn't think he had used the oven at all. So I'm thinking like, oh, it's, it's fine. It's a dairy oven. Um, and I think I even, had checked the cake mix and the cake mix was parv, but the pan I was using was dairy. And I don't like forgetting all the details, whether I thought about that and just thought the oven was dairy or I just thought, oh, it's going to be a meat equipment cake. I don't know what my thoughts were. And I like baked this cake and literally like my, for some reason I started this, like I said, Baruch Mavdil, and then I had started this because I think my dad was coming home from somewhere late, um, like after Shabbos. So we were waiting for Abdallah and and my dad gets home and he is so mad at me. He's like, Amalia, what in the world? You're traping our kitchen. And why is that it? Why is that in the oven? Like, it, it's, it's literally like, it's only like 15 minutes after Shabbos, Amalia. Did you really need to bake a cake now? <laughs> so that's just yeah. life lessons. Um, so one time I boiled water in a meat pot and poured it into the par of KitchenAid. I don't have a KitchenAid. I wish I had a par of Ki- I-, I wish I had a KitchenAid. What is a KitchenAid? It's the mixer. Right? Um I think it's the mixer. Mhm. Okay. Which I think you have. I might. I'm I'm I really have a lot to learn about kitchen seeing as I'm moving out of the house this year. It's coming here. So I should probably learn things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Adding milk to a part of equipment soup. Wait, is e- what's wrong with that? Equip like equipment. Like it was oh, made with part of equipment. Band. <laughs> no. Adding milk to a part of it, there's no problem with that. It just made the soup now dairy. Oh, I guess it made the par of equipment dairy too. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, who has like these nice par of kitchens? I have to say, like, we have maybe like one par of spoon. Yeah, we just have, we don't have, we don't have par of silverware. We just have, um, for like baking things, we have par of bowls and stuff. Mm-hmm. But that, well, that's about the extent of our par. If we need to eat par, we use plastic. Mm-hmm. I think the only thing, like, my dad, basically that my dad's very extra about his barbecuing so we have a par of barbecue where we make fish like it's a small right. barbecue like we have we have a meat barbecue and then we have a par of barbecue um and on the par of barbecue we have like a fish thingy for that and i think like a, one colander or something that's par of, and that's like and i think even one of those I think we accidentally made dairy at one point, and so now we don't even have that. But we have a whole barbecue, so. <laughs> That's extra. 
I once took a potato that boiled in a flaschic pot, and then I cut the middle out, and I put cheese in it, and then I put it in a milk like microwave, and then I put it on a flaschic plate, and I ate it with flaschic silverware. That's just one example. If you want to give you another one, but that's the most recent one that happened to happen last year. Okay, but you gave a disclaimer. We do have to say that just in case it sounds like I have no idea about the rules of Kashras because it happened so recently, like in January of 2019, it was because my sister boiled potatoes in a flaming pot that she thought was male sex. So I completely trusted her, and that's why I really do know my Kashras, okay? <laughs> and we don't doubt your Kashras. Um, it could have happened to me too. That could totally happen to me. That definitely, I, I probably has happened to me. I had this freak out the other day because we had rice at two meals. One of them was dairy meal and one of them was a meat meal. And I put the dairy rice on my meat plate. But it wasn't the dairy rice. It was the meat rice. I like had already done it. And then I like on the intercom to my dad, like upstairs, I'm like, daddy, which meal was this rice? And then he's like, well, is it the larger rice or the smaller rice? Is it like the stickier one or the less sticky one? And I'm like, like, I don't know, like, I guess it's the stickier one. He's like, no, that one's the dairy one. And I'm like, and then he came downstairs and turns out it was the right one. So it wasn't Trace and it was fine. Um, but it was, I, I, these situations come up a lot. The problem is, like anything from Shabbos, no one's ever labeled. So like if you had like rice and then you also have rice during the week, no one knows which, which rice is which. True. But yeah. we don't put things in bags. We put things in containers. So well, even we know container oh that's a good point um also biggest mess with the reusable containers we have meat ones and dairy ones but they're the same brand so the bottoms are the same so what's different about them the covers are red and blue and it was oh, okay. the biggest mess we've ever had oh such a mess oh gosh i for sure made all of the containers there were totally containers in my house that were par of containers and I for sure made the milk like just by watching that washing them with the milk like sponge or putting something in them that I shouldn't have put in for sure I've definitely done that okay I wanted wacky mac so I started making it in a flaschic pot and spoon not knowing that it was flaschic I'm assuming is what they mean so I'm just in the middle of making it and my mom walks into the kitchen and starts laughing at me and I figured out what I was doing wrong after that it's nice that her mom like just comes in and laughs as opposed to like oh my gosh you're you're messing up my kitchen like <laughs> Oh, Wacky Rack Mac reminds me of high school. We literally just left high school. The early onset nostalgia, because I've been, like, in my mentally out of high school for the past, like, four years or so. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever had Wacky Mac before. No, I didn't eat Wacky Mac in high school. I just, like, a lot of my friends ate Wacky Mac in high school. Yeah. Oh, I wonder who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's you guys, you know who you are. Okay, what's the next one? <laughs> I poured chicken soup into my milk sink one time. Um, I feel could happen also. Um, oh, you know what? You know what that's like. Remember, like you know the like the pamphlets we had in like halakha class last year, and all of them were about chicken soup. Every single one referenced like what you're doing in the case of chicken soup. Yeah, like, basically. That's it. <laughs> But what I want to know is why someone's pouring chicken soup into the sink. That's the real good question, because chicken soup is delicious. So. Maybe it was bad chicken soup. Like, we have, like, at the end, like, okay, basically, we have, a, like, in our backyard, we sometimes store our pot of chicken soup, like, in a cooler, but, like, without, I, like, when it's cold in the winter, like, our backyard gets very cold, and our pot. You know what that reminds me of? What? Okay. I'm pretty sure in, like, maybe... I'm either it could be either one of two things so like feel free to laugh at me because they're total opposites Little House on the Prairie or Arthur like from PBS oh, the, Arthur episode, I know the, one. <laughs> the one where they put the, it in the ground I've always wanted uh -huh. one of those. okay yeah. basically for those of you who don't know what we're talking about on Arthur there's a family that's from I'm forgetting what foreign country um some foreign country where there's a lot of hurricanes and so they know about how to deal with stuff when there's a power outage. And there's a power outage in Arthur's town on the show. And so they <laughs> teach them about putting your, um, like, instead of, like, having a fridge, you put all of your food in a garbage can, and then you put that in a hole in the ground. 
and it keeps it cold. And I've always wanted to try it. Oh, me too. And you do it, but you do try it. That's but we don't so cool. put it in a hole in the ground. We just keep it in the backyard because it's really cold. Um, uh-huh. We also, we, it's real like great life hacks. We also keep like all of our soda bottles out, like outside in the winter. All right. Next one. Um, I found a pot on the flaceric side of the stove and I started cooking something par of in it for Shabbos. And my mother freaked out because it was a milk like pot. Why was it on the flaceric side of the stove to begin with? Who's I don't know. Mom? <laughs> Maybe it was not the mom's fault. Someone else could have put it there. Okay. All right. But my mother cooked vegetarian chili in a brand new pot. Turns out it wasn't vegetarian or kosher. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, she, she didn't take it. Oh, she didn't tovel it. No, no, no. She, she, it wasn't the pot. It was the chili. Why was it wasn't it? kosher? She like bought the wrong brand. She thought it was vegetarian chili, but really it was meat, not kosher oh. chili. Oh, wait, that's so confusing. I sorry, because like when I make chili, like I make it like from scratch. I I didn't realize it's like a vegetarian chili mix. It sounds like it sounds like it was a mix. The Go person ahead. a person sent this thing to me, and it's made it. She made it sound like she bought it and then cooked it. In pot. Gotcha. I that's the worst. And you just like. You went and you got this new pot and then you went and you had to go title it and like it's such a like ordeal because you have to like go somewhere with it and then you come back and you just treat it up on your first use. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your turn. I baked I baked gingerbread cookies in the oven at the same time as there was a turkey cooking in there. The turkey grease burnt the cookies and every time I ate the cookies I became flaccid so I couldn't eat them with ice cream. <laughs> that's so funny but also really- uh, can you guess that this was on thanksgiving <laughs> well it could be thanksgiving but it could also just be one of those random families who likes to eat turkey and gingerbread cookies I don't all year round the only time i've had like real like full turkey not on thanksgiving was when we decided to do um Oh, or on Shabbos after Thanksgiving when we decide not to do Thanksgiving, but then want to eat turkey, like, for fun. Um, like, it just, it's, like, let's say you decided not to do Thanksgiving, so you'd want to eat turkey just because, like, you eat turkey only a few times a year. So, like, I want turkey now. It's a turkey time. Okay. Turkey mood. Okay. But then, also, when we decided one time, my family was just like, ooh, let's have turkey. Let, let, let's have Thanksgiving for Shabbos dinner. And so we had turkey and pumpkin pie and everything before Shabbos dinner at like random time. I think it was during the summer. But that's, I think that's the only time I've had turkey aside from Thanksgiving, like as a thing. So I'm, I, I, it's safe to say it was Thanksgiving. By the way, also just realizing they used to use like um, meat, like meat oil in making like cookies and stuff. It used to be a thing. And in some countries, yeah, they use it for like lakas on Hanukkah. I can't remember who said it. I think maybe the Rav or something, who said that that everyone always now in like America talks about how they, um, how they or maybe it was Rabbi Schechter. I think it was the Rav because uh, Rav Schechter is not from Europe, but um, the, how they talk about how they eat lakas with like their dairy stuff, and the Rav's like, we always cooked it with 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 meat like we cooked it in meat oil so it's my turn okay so my sister had a section of her kitchen counter full of items labeled kosher questions <laughs> she barely had any utensils and pots that were not in the sectioned off area it could definitely happen especially if you're like learning how to cook like in seminary next year for sure there's going to be a sectioned off area called kosher questions it's going to be every single thing that i own is going to be in that area at some point i'm sure Especially if you're using, so seminary is a good point, because, like, communal living also, like, there's so many, like, just things. Like, it's, like, the seminary microwaves, like, are going to give me a heart attack. Okay. My turn. I often use the power of a sponge on milk or dishes. I subtly, I subtly, wow, I can't read English. I subtly throw out dairy, the dairy sponge and replace it with the power of one. It's a pretty smooth rotation. <laughs> Sponges are the worst. I have, I don't blame this person. Sponges are like evil. 
because also, you know, when you have those packs that's only one color, and really you need a pack with three blue and three red or something along those lines. And <laughs> meanwhile, you're in the kosher grocery store and they only have green ones. And they only have green ones. And so both of your th sinks on Pesach have a green sponge. And then you're like, in, you're, then you're very nervous about only having a green sponge. And then Pesach ends, but your Pesach sponge was, is still on your sink. And so that sponge has continued for longer and you still don't know what to do. If you're, you're still terrified that your sponges might get mixed. This seems to be a sore topic for you. <laughs> But actually, that's not even the story that's scary. That's just that the, my scare. The reason I'm scared about my par of sponges, my green sponges, is because of the time when we I, I it was my fault. I couldn't find a blue sponge, and we desperately needed a new sponge for the dairy sink. So I took a red sponge from. I took a red sponge and was like, you know what? I'm gonna change it later. Then what happens? My brother, who has special needs, he's like playing around at the sinks. And he moves stuff around. And lo and behold, oh. there are two sponges in the meat by the meat sink now. And unclear which one is really the dairy red sponge. So fun stuff. Yeah, that's scary. I cooked sweet potatoes in a flashic pot. Then I dumped them in a park bowl and mashed them with a flashic fork. The bowl is now flashic. Yeah, that happens. It's very sad. When you go, I told. It, am I the only one who considers like traveling such a hassle? Like you have to go somewhere and you have to have your thing. I, I really don't think you're the only one who considers it a hassle. I think the entire world considers, considers it a hassle. I mean, am I the only one who literally like will have like a box, like just me, not like things that I'll buy for our kitchen, like not even including things like we as a community buy, but like, let's say like we bought a like pasta the vegetable pasta you know how like you can make pa you can make your vegetables into like curly pasta shapes uh, yes I do but you're not you're not talking about bean pasta are you no not bean pasta bean pasta I bought in a box <laughs> um, okay like zucchini pasta you mean like that type like when you can take zucchini yeah yeah like that and like I have a whole thing on my desk of these which I've had for months these are like extra tea strainers I bought and then this is one someone gave me that they got in shelf mono on um and they didn't want it so I have that um and so like it's just ridiculous because I have like this is just one of my things but my sister has like a box in her room of like everyone's stuff um that needs to go and like we never go. I'm really proud because this is the first time I ever got to use this cup because I didn't know it was Tyvelt until this morning um, when it showed up in my cabinet. And I was like, oh, we had Tyvelt this, just no one put it away. Is that tea? Um, it is, but for the record, it's iced tea. I know you don't like tea, but it's actually really good. If you take like a- I started to drink tea now, you know. I drink tea on a regular basis. Oh, really? Fine. I'm not like a tea addict. Like I don't drink tea addict. like you do. Like it's not the only drink. Like I'm still a firm water drinker and I hold more strongly in water than I do in tea because tea, if it's too hot outside, I just can't drink it. Mm -hmm. And iced tea is disgusting. So no. No, but, it's, uh, ice in the, it's not like iced tea with like sugary. It's like. No, it's just the idea of something that's not straight up water that's cold that you're drinking. Ew. What? Do you drink orange juice? I don't like it, but I like I like chocolate milk. That's the only other thing that I like, but I can't drink milk, so it doesn't really help me. But, but like, I hate anything else that's cold. It's not water. That's so weird. What about like apple juice, grape juice? Ew. Grape juice is fine. Grape juice is fine. And orange juice is fine, too. I just don't drink juice so much. Grape juice I drink on Shabbos. Oh, I, to me, that's, like, so weird. Like, like either things need to be very hot or very cold. I don't drink, like, room temperature water. Ew. Yeah, I mean, no, room temperature water is fine. Anything else room temperature is not good. Basically, Which the only is why I drink water water. and occasional cups of hot tea. Why don't you just drink warm water? You'd probably like it better. No, I actually, I really don't drink water, like, as a thing alone. Uh, like, I drink a lot of seltzer. I, like, I have, um, I have, like, I keep, like, a bot, just a bottle of seltzer next to my bed, and I, like, drink from it, like, straight up, 
like, but that, I, I just, I, I get, water is so plain, really, like, it's so, like, plain that I'm just, like, what is this, why is it, like, and then, like, when there's the slightest bit of flavor from, like, something that's in your cup, like, what are, be wrong, yeah, that's wrong, then it's, like, the worst, because yeah. water is not supposed to have a flavor, I just, I can't drink water, I mean, I can't actually, from metal cups, I'm okay with water, like, this I'd be okay with water in. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and, like and, uh, let me start again. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below about all the times you traced up your kitchen. And also check in the description box below for more details on, like, what all the definitions of the words that we use mean and for some other videos that you might be interested in watching. See you next week.